Great Friday evening to God be the glory for yet another beginning of a beautiful weekend and this is the last <clears throat> minute or so a few minutes of me being this age to God be the glory I think about I was telling a friend who wished me a happy birthday I was like well this is the day before but I am sure that my mom was full of some pain anguish in labor right about now and it just extended to the next day so we just thank the lord that we have life and again we are uh, saluting those mothers who have gone through that because it's something else and that's the physical pain but who knows who yeah i know all of us know and some of us have heard that the physical pain sometimes is just <laughs> light compared to the emotional and mental pain. But even with that, Philippians 4 reminds us that we keep our mind, our thoughts on the Lord and the peace of God, which secures, which is a garrison of our mind, will keep us, will secure us from all worry. So we just, what we do, instead of caring and over caring, is we just present our supplications to the Lord with thanksgiving, praise, worship, and trust that all is well with our offspring, with all of our children, our natural children, and the ones who we did not give birth to. We just entrust all of them. I think about the young men who carjacked, and like I said, just looking at them run to the car, the getaway car, I was like, that was not the intention of the Lord. And just so much destruction. And hearing another friend getting carjacked recently, a very nice vehicle. It doesn't matter what type of car, really, but hers was very expensive. And it's just foolishness. Well, we know that talking about the murder, whoever pulled that trigger, we're in Genesis 4. And this is when the first murder took place. That was when Cain rose up and out of jealousy, he murdered Abel. And it pretty much was saying that Cain was very wroth in verse 5. He was very angry and his countenance fell. He felt disrespected because it says, but unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. So how many times do people say, you know, I felt disrespected and all that. And that's how fights start and all this craziness. But in verse 7, it says, God said, if thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? All we have to do is do the will of God and we will receive blessings and peace. So. That really is need to be that needs to be communicated to our young people. You don't have to envy out here. You don't have to steal, kill, destroy. There's enough out there for that. Mm -mm. If you work hard with your hands, God will bless you. Yes, He will. And it says later on that in verse 25 that God said unto Eve, I have appointed you another seed instead of Abel and she was able to uh, have another son called Seth and some of us are appointed to have multiple children and some of us aren't but you know what we are called all of us to take care of the young people out here remember Psalm 71 18 talks about now that we're old let us show thy glory and express that to the generation that is present and show your power and strength to the ones who are present and the ones who are to come. Look, our hands are full with the young people that we have. Now we just thank the Lord for what he has given us and we will be, we will be faithful to show them the faithfulness of the Lord. And it says in Proverbs 11, 11, because today is the 11th, or was the 11th, it says, by the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, even the city of Chicago. We are the righteous and we are keeping 
this country afloat because of the prayer of the saints. And when it goeth well with the righteous, the city rejoiceth. So we have to continue to pray for these young men, pray for these young ladies. They talked about a carjacking in the downtown area last week where there was... <laughs> They, they had a play gun or something, but then they bit the person trying to get the car and just some craziness. No, we need to pray. We need to be the example. We need to be the mothers and fathers out here and show them that there is a better way than doing this foolishness. He or she that trusteth in their riches shall fall. No, we trust in the name of the Lord and he will be our strength forevermore. And that's in Psalm, uh, Proverbs eleven twenty-eight. 28. Have a wonderful evening, trusting in the Lord and knowing that he can do all things. Good night.